Okay. So I originally started off with Renee, Aldo, and Sam, then kind of transferred over because we had opposing views on certain things, but I'll go on and further explain it. So um, I originally wanted to do McCann and Drive, so that means that each wheel would have to have its own motor and its own gearbox, and you would have to put two separate encoders, um, one on the back of us and one on the front of us, sorry, um, just to program the new encoders, and it would just, um, you just have to find a new program for that. Um, so what I wanted to do is I wanted we wanted to incorporate all three of the designs on there. So I included a shooting system, which um, you would pop under like the collector thing that you would switch off on, and they'll pop into the top of the TV to go to higher. And then the balls will kind of go down here, and then the TV like the table will be able to get the projector off. So it's kind of move around, and so it's kind of cool. Can you use the mouse so that people? Oh see yeah, sure. Video? Okay. Um, for the gear, what I wanted to do is I also wanted to stand under the, the, the collection part and sort of have it at an incline. So when it does um, fall in, it'll fall into an incline and then it'll fall into like a, like a vertically standing um, like casing for it. And then in this vertically standing casing, there's going to be like a, it's, it's going to be, there's going to be like a hole in the middle. So when you do drive up to the peg, you can push the gear into the peg and your peg can go through so you can push the gear all the way through. Um, also, the climbing um, from the robot in three days of Velcro was a good idea, but I don't know if you could use that, so I was trying to figure out something else that you could do. Um, so, I read on the manuals that you could create loops at the bottom of your rope. So, if we could somehow get a get like a hook onto the winch or something, and then just um, clip it to the loop at the rope, and then just roll yourself up into there. Okay. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah now, um, Lauren, I, I don't want to put you on the spot. Do you, know, do you understand how to go diagonal? Show us the wheels, how you can go diagonal and get that from the other like, angle. Yes. Tell us what wheels would you need, what direction to go, let's say, uh, up to the right. You're going this way? Yes. Okay. These two are going forward. Can you use the mouse? Nope. Okay. Uh, I'm going yeah, to I'm gonna, I'm gonna explain something. Why, why okay. You that? okay why you use the when you're going diagonal, this one's going forward, this one's going forward, these two are going backwards, right? I'm asking if you. Yeah. That would, that would just leave, leave well, right. So one the of the mechanical wheels have a name. Yeah, the mechanical wheels have a. Yeah. You have seen those. Have little wheels inside. Yeah. That's how they work. Okay, so well, hold on. The, the, this these two have to stay. So these two have these two have to go straight. These two have to turn. Mm -hmm. And if you do that, that's what causes the angle to one side. Okay. Right. So that means, Mr. Cavallo, one of the there is no reason, Mr. Cavallo. To have these independent of each other. Basically, the yeah. light, the, the, the like these don't have the extra independent of each other. From the trip? These two yeah. could always be the same. Yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah. 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 trying to do diagonal left and diagonal right. All you have to do is turn one side and it goes this way. It goes this way. Now, if you want to turn around, I'd have to think about it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, go back. Okay. Go back for a second. So, Oh, no, I didn't. Sorry. Sorry. 